Well, good morning, you beautiful lot. Here we are, and we've got a crew. Yes, it's Sunday, the 1st of October, and it's that time we head over to the Ditchford footpath. Oh, we've got a few legends here. We've got NWP Exploring. How you doing, Neil? All right. Yeah. Got home movies persons. We've got Hayden, and we've also got Station 67 over in the back. Brilliant stuff. So um, yeah, thank you, everyone. Let's go deal with this footpath. Not very dog friendly, are they? <laughs> oh, definitely more than six in uh, a few months, isn't it? <laughs> oh, little paws. <laughs> right, okay, well, there's an idea for people. We need boards on these so the doggies can get over. Bless them. All right, gents. It's not wheelchair friendly. No, it's not wheelchair friendly, is it? No, not really. There you go, Pooch. Lovely. Oh, oh, yeah, Josh. How you doing, mate? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah good to see you. Uh, when did you get here, then? Uh, don't know. Oh, right. You made your way here quick, did you? Yeah. What a star. Well, thank you for joining us. You see my army. Yeah. <laughs> a bit different to when we first done it, wasn't it, bud? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. It's nice when people answer the call, and I have no idea what we're going to find. I did have a gentleman shout at me from the Premier Inn down on Earthlingborough Road that the gate had been removed. I don't know how good that source is. I really don't. So I'm not entirely sure what we're going to find. So the council came down and they cleared all these stinging nettles probably about five weeks ago now and now they're coming back up. So it would take another report into fix my street. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Ditchford Mill. And now the site of CTS container storage. Now last year I did deal with this footpath and I got Dave's answer and his thoughts on the matter. So I kind of moved off away because there was going to be a new greenway extension. But then I find out this year that that new greenway is going to take about five years to make. So therefore I need my footpath to Rushton. So therefore I've been fighting to get this one sorted. So I think if I wait up here and we'll wait for people. This should get a bit interesting. Ew. Where they used to keep all the blood and guts before filtering into the reed beds. Oh, look. Hey, we've got a welcoming committee. Hey. Good morning, how are we? It's nice to actually have you come greet us. It's beautiful. Uh, okay, can I? Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I just might be all cavalry. Okay. How many of you are there? An army. Right, okay. This is just the reason to explain as and why this gate is here. Um, so, has, it, has it gone through North Northamptonshire County Council? Yeah. yeah. This is just for your benefit. I can either stand here and read it to you, or you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Re read Would it out, love. Um, filming. No, no, we, we can't, we're afraid. Um, you, won't this, be, this... you won't be allowed in if you're filming. Oh, are we being denied access to a public footpath? Be no. careful how, how you're saying no, this. You would, not be, you would not be denied it, but you are not to film on this land or take photos. Well, the path is public land. Mm. What, what, what are you going to film? 
uh, our way through. It's part of the video. We're going through to Rushton. And uh, that's what I do every Sunday as I film. Uh, two weeks ago, I filmed my way up to the Rushton Model Way Club. This is what I do for my channel. I film my journeys. Well, that's fine, but yeah. we don't want to film. Let, let them in so the dogs are on leave. And that's yeah. another reason why you need to... Well, this is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I, I will have one of them, just so the viewers know. And then I'll let you read out as well. All have one. No, I'll read one. Uh, no, I, I'm not wasting my time. <laughs> it should be down to the landowner to make sure that the footpath is clear of any obstacles ready for any kind of walker to go through. And, and, and you are not allowed this gate here. You were given, you were served 28 days notice to have this gate removed. Now, why is this gate still here whilst this is still going on? I do not know. Maybe you should read the letter and maybe it's because and like it's on a Sunday where you are not on work. There are people like you yep. who have been found wandering, trespassing. Uh, oh, is it? It's not trespassing when it's a public footpath. No, I haven't. Oh, yes, Give me proof. Have. Give me proof. Well, my husband. Uh, all right, okay. What? By the guy that was running the pallet centre here that showed me through. I had permission. And that was. Yeah, but you did. When it, last year, there was pallets at the back here. And the guy that was running the pallets let me have a look through to the feather mill. And that was not trespassing because he gave me permission at the time. So, good try. We can go to court on that one. How are you getting on with that, buddy? Anyway, it's good to see you, mate. Missed you. <laughs> he is, I like him, yeah. So, as you see, there are dogs. They are pet dogs. They're not guard dogs. But I have to get them back on their leads before they are they're allowed out to go to the toilet when I'm here working. Oh, look, it's even used asbestos may remain in the air in the air for 48 to 72 hours. I'm sorry, but isn't that all over our school still? Excuse yeah. me, yeah, yeah, yeah. that is true. I <laughs> Maybe. May yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're standing right by where it is. Oh, right, okay. And that is going to have We'd to be removed. We'd have walked through if it let us. <laughs> <laughs> that, that should have been taken in consideration. <laughs> yeah. wouldn't be stood here if there weren't a gate. Yeah, oh, no, it's a public footpath. It actually states in the law that you are not allowed by any means necessary, whether you believe you've got thousands of pounds worth of cash in your containers, like we were previously told, um, or anything such as a matter, you know what I mean? You can't obstruct a public bloody footpath. You've already been given the order to get it removed. This site has had to be exported for the past 20 years. No, you haven't. Yes, you have. There's, we've got signage. You've only been here for the last year. Twenty. It was, it was before us. Oh right. Okay. What? Well, when no one would ever come anywhere near this area because it was a chettles and stunk of death. Now this this place has finally started to clear of the smell of death. People are starting to walk, especially after the pandemic we've been through. People are starting to appreciate these walks, and we're now meeting these landowners, and especially after CTS done what they did with a public footpath in in Brigstock. We're not allowing this. Yeah, yeah, uh, and the public footpath sign that was taken off the fence and dumped in your yard, is that been put back on the fence yet? Yeah, well, yeah, well, uh, thank you. Yes, there we go. There we go. Well, as long as this guy's here, I'm fine with that. But it's when we have to come to this gate, like last week, and you've got the little guy who's trying to dictate to me when I'm making a demand to open a gate and decides to walk off. He's doing his job. Thank you very much. We just want to go through to the other side and then walk back. So wait by the gate. We'll be back in a minute. Oh, he's, he's all there. If I keep you there, they will hear you, but not film you. Sorry? I'll keep you there, it will hear you, but not film. So say whatever you want to say, love. I mean, I spoke to Dave last year about this footpath and having it opened. And because there was going to be a new greenway extension put in, I kind of let go. But then this year, we put a gate and this greenway extension because, hasn't been done for five years. Because this is a very dangerous yeah, It yard. should have been taken into consideration when he first bought the place. There's, there's a, um, a footpath it's, going through it, like Whitworth. It's been a working yard for years. Yeah, and it's been a walkthrough as well for since 1066.
yeah. doomsday books. And there's no one stopping you from walking through. Well, there is. There all, was last week. All we're saying is that you need to be escorted for your own health and safety. And, and that's fine. And I rang the number like I did last time on the gate and I rang it and I did everything that was supposed to. Even says on the gate, ring before entering. Yeah. Now I know a little way into the yard which sticks to that f public footpath which you still haven't cottoned on to. So if I find that gate's locked and I ring the number and there is no answer, I will film me ring and then I will film myself but, but get the, into the yard. The security guard could have been dealing with another member of the No, company. he was switching shifts and he ignored the phone call. Then when we went to come through, you look on the cam, he's hid the gate key, the front gate key, in his car and then had a go at the other guy. Right. Yep. And so... Yeah, I don't see why you even want to walk through here. It's not very exciting. Yeah, but it's the main walk through to Ruston Lakes from Wellingborough. Until our green wave's you made. From when you, get out uh, here? you follow the road just here well, into the next little bit. But, that's the, really but that's the way it is with every footpath. There's always a little element of road because they can't just link everything up. But this is the main footpath. Go over this little bridge and in the lay-by, that is into Ruston well, Lakes. Let's hope not one of you doesn't get killed. Yeah, well, we know how to follow the rules on the roads. So we'll have a meet up on the other side, and you'll have to let us back through in a minute. Thank you. Lovely. Well, well there, we there we go. They can read all the rights they like, but we know the laws. Well, obviously they don't know their laws because it's her saying you can't film on public land. Now, I don't know where that one stands there, Neil. I don't exactly know where that stands because a right it's a public footpath. That is actually private property. That is private property. But it's property. in the view of something that's public. Yeah, but then you've got the public footpath. So filming on the public public footpath should be allowed. It is allowed. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. Whether it's it's a very uh, grey yeah. area where a lot of people don't understand it. Yeah, yeah. You can stand here and film for everything's open. You can film it from here. Yeah, yeah. You can film it from over there. It's pub you know that's public. It so they've got no say in it really. So there is another thing as well is the public footpath sign is now gone and the two little signs that were on the side there they're now gone as well so the public footpath sign has actually been taken away and all they've left up is this board here you know i'd love to know some professional help on this is there anybody out there that actually knows are they actually allowed to do that because i really don't think they can harry knows about the private property bitch you won't see trouble oh do you yeah where's the footpath sign <laughs> yeah yeah well so the footpath sign's gone yeah 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 well we made it folks so how many of you are actually going to carry on the journey and going round elsewhere? Yeah. 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 So we've been escorting these people, making sure that they get through this yard absolutely fine. So we did it, folks. Thank you very much. We will get there. You see, you keep throwing Summit at the wall, Summit will stick. So I've still found that quite intimidating. So anybody who wants to come and walk this on their own midweek, they're going to have to deal with that. And that should not be allowed. People should be able to come through without a confrontation whatsoever. Don't, don't dogs in your face. I know, right? You don't, you don't need that. And still you have to ring a number to the security guards when they've then got your contact details. I, I, don't, I don't believe in it. So I would really love some extra help on that one. Thank you to everybody who's come out on this wonderful walk. Sorry I've annoyed you a little bit more, but that's my job. That's what we do. And if you went annoying someone, then you went doing life right. So with all that in mind, I hope you have a wonderful one. And we'll see you again for another episode. Hope okay. we